Oh, that was a rubbish one, wasn't it? It's a bit better. Hey, I'm Melanie C and I'm here with Elle to play It's a Mood. Hmm. Well, this look brings back so many memories. This, I believe, was the MTV Music Awards in New York in 1997. Boy, we were going for it makeup-wise that night. Her and makeup was big for the Spice Girls on that night. Wow, look at Jerry. What I love about Jerry's look is that she always went all out. She like dresses in fancy dress. You know, we were in America. She was wearing the stars and stripes. She was living it. And look at Emma's shoes. Wow, they were like buffaloes like beyond no one just used to hurt a little ankles on those things but um little old sporty i think i've got a little bit of ralph Lauren on there i think my my wife runs yeah they were wife runs uh were maybe ralph Lauren. for me high pony vintage sporty is a look i'm i'm digging that one all of the Spice Girls nicknames were actually given to us by Top of the Pops magazine. They just stuck and we loved them and we really played up to them. We almost became caricatures of those nicknames. And in the US, for a long time, they didn't know our real names. I grew up in the northwest of England, in the 80s, and everyone wore sportswear. It was just kind of the uniform of the day. And I continued to wear that. I went to Performing Arts College. I did a lot of dancing. So I was always in a trackie. And then when it came to the band, we were all trying to dress the same. We were trying to find a look that worked for everyone, but nothing did. So one day we just decided like, when you come to rehearsals, Mel in your trackie and Victoria's got a little dress on and Emma in the little baby doll, everyone's comfortable and everyone just seems to be themselves. So we decided to go against the grain of so many bands before us and dress differently. And it became like part of what the Spice Girls is all about, really celebrating individuality. Oh, ah, this is one of my ultimate favorite looks ever. I wore a beautiful red carpet gown at the Brit Awards this year, 2020. I was like gobsmacked. When my stylist, Graham Cruz, he's amazing, I adore him. He showed me the new Fila runway collection and I was like, what? It's who? You what now? As soon as I put that dress on, it was like it was made for me. I was like, I couldn't believe how great I felt in it, how beautiful it fitted. And I just loved that it was sportswear and not many people knew that. I was lucky enough at the Brits 2020 to present Billie Eilish with her award, Best International Female. And I love Billie. I've been a fan for a long time. And it came to light that her dad is a big Spice Girls fan. And not only is he a big Spice Girls fan, he's a big sporty Spice fan. Now, you are pulling out all the, like, ultimate sporty looks today. This is the white jumpsuit I wore at the Olympics, London 2012, where all five of us got on top of our taxis and spiced up the life of the whole world. I think there were Giuseppe Zanotti um, um, trainers, you know, with the wedges in. And they were silver, they were incredible. Um, yeah, I love them. They're, I was a little bit wobbly on that taxi, but we, we pulled it off. Yeah, I wear a lot of jumpsuits. I find it's quite a nice little um, kind of glow up from my sportswear because I feel chic, but it still feels quite simple. I really suit having things like come in a little bit there. Um, you know, as you get older and you get a bit of saggy skin under your pits. So that line just avoids all of that. So there's, there's my top tip for the day. <laughs> I have watched back the performance at the Olympics of the Spice Girls so many times and to see Boris Johnson and David Cameron having a little boogie to spice up your life, it did make me chuckle. Oh gosh, yeah. This is, I think this look here is me maybe trying to branch out from being sporty. I mean, I was doing a bit of a baby spice though, wasn't I? I've gone a bit bland. I've got a little skirt on, a little pink. I think, have I got those Mimi boots on there that everybody had them? They were literally the boots of the 90s. I think it's good to experiment. I don't think this looks truly me 100%, but I was, I was branching out. I was, um, yeah, I was trying something new. 
Now, this is um, quite a famous picky, isn't it? So Jerry there, I think, wiping off some lipstick from Pinch Charles. I don't know if we've ever been forgiven for that breach of protocol, pinching bottoms and kissing cheeks. Um, but it's part of the Spice Girls history and, you know, obviously we're so proud of that. I think I'm in Kappa there. Kappa tracky bottoms. But when we used to have shoots, it was funny because obviously the girls, we all wore different things and there were so many designer things here, there and everywhere and there was big rails for everyone and then there was my rail with like just loads of sportswear and it was so funny when we toured last year because of course now, you know, sports is so big and all the designers are doing it and for the first time ever, I think I had the biggest shoe budget. I was wearing Louis Vuitton, I was wearing Stella McCartney and uh, I was like, about time bitches, <laughs> that's the money gets spent on Sporty Spice, they weren't very happy about it. But one of my favourite memories, we were whisked off to Highgrove to have high tea with Prince Charles and William and Harry. And we were eating cucumber sandwiches and we were being very proper. And then at one point, I think it was Mel B, probably, piped up and said, I'm starving. So we got taken down into the kitchens and the princes made us a peanut butter on toast. And I don't think many people could say that they've had that opportunity. So here is the front cover of my new album. It's a self-titled album. Now I'm wearing a beautiful suit on this. I suppose it's me all grown up, isn't it? But um, I've probably got a sports bra on under there. There's always gonna be a bit of sportswear somewhere. Last year, touring with the Spice Girls, touring with Sink the Pink, doing a world tour of Prides, just gave me this like amazing, moment to be very reflective. I wanted to talk about self-acceptance. I wanted to make music to make people dance, but I also wanted to empower people. And I'm really happy with the result. Ah, here I am with Victoria. Now this is a, this is quite recent. I think it's in the last couple of years. I think I'm wearing a bit of Isabel Morant. Look at those shoulder pads. I'm giving it a bit of an 80s vibe there, aren't I? And there's a, there's a part of me that wants to be quite like boho chic. I'm not sure whether this dress really works on me. I think the shoulders might be a little bit OTT. I was performing that night, I was singing, and Victoria was in attendance, and she was so sweet at the end, because I sang To Become One, and uh, she came over and gave me a big hug. A really nice night to reconnect, as we don't get the chance to do so too often. What Victoria has done, what she's achieved in fashion is amazing. We are all so proud of her. I don't think there could have been a more difficult transition, you know, from girl band to, you know, respected fashion designer, and she's done it. The true definition of girl power. And I'm so proud of everyone. We're like family, you know, we grew up together. We know each other's families, our kids, our parents, our siblings. So it's a super special bond. Quarantine and lockdown and COVID weirdness of 2020 has been weird for everybody, hasn't it? But I have been lucky enough, maybe about two and a half months ago, we all got together, all five of us, which is pretty rare. And I think that's something we can thank COVID for because usually everyone's rushing around. I mean, especially Victoria, she's all over the world. We don't often get the chance to do it. And when we do, it's nice to reconnect. You know, Spice Girls forever. I'm Melanie C and I have loved my little trip down memory lane playing It's a Mood with Elle. If you've enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe. Now, I know we're all going through tricky times, so I just want to send you lots of love and I hope we get back to some kind of normality really soon. So stay safe, stay well. Mwah. See you soon.